गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एक से टू पॉइंट टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द डाइनिंग टेबल उस डायमीटर इस अंडर एंड फाइव सेंटीमीटर फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ अ डाइनिंग टेबल उस डायमीटर इस अंडर एंड फाइव सेंटीमीटर इस गिवन ओके डायमीटर इस अंडर एंड फाइव सेंटीमीटर तो सो दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेडियस हाउ टू फाइंड द रेडियस सो इन डायमीटर आफ इट इस रेडियस वी नो दैट सो हंड्रेड एंड फाइव बाई टू यू बी गिविंग द वैल्यू एस फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो एरिया ऑफ़ द डाइनिंग टेबल द फॉर्मूल That means dining table is in the form of a circle. Okay, so the formula is pi r squared. That means pi into r into r. So the value of pi which we used here is twenty two by seven into fifty two point five into fifty two point five, which I am showing you now. So we can cancel here seven and fifty two point five, so that you are getting seven point five. Then multiply twenty two into seven point five into fifty two point five. You will be getting the value as Eight thousand six hundred and sixty-two point five centimeters squared. Always remember that whenever we do for the area, it has to be in square centimeter. Okay, so it is centimeters square. Now the second question you can take it as the homework. Now let me pass on to the third question. A sprinkler placed at the center of the flower garden sprays water covering a circular area. If the area watered is one thousand three hundred and eighty-six centimeters square, find its radius and the diameter. It's clear. So the area of the garden it is given. In the equation it is given that the area of a garden it is one thousand three hundred and eighty six centimeters square. Now we have to find out what is the radius. It is clear. So just substitute in the place of the area one thousand three hundred eighty six, which is equal to pi r squared. So whereas you have to find the r. So keep r in the right hand side. This pi will go to the left hand side, right? So it is. Uh, seven by twenty-two. So here it is twenty-two by seven. When it goes that side, it becomes seven by twenty-two. So one three eight six into seven by twenty-two. When you cancel that, you are getting the value of r squared is four hundred and forty-one, which is nothing but when you find the value of r, it is square root of four forty-one. Right? Yeah. So r squared is four forty-one. Therefore, r is equals to twenty-one will be the answer for the radius. Now we have to say what is the diameter. Diameter is nothing but Uh, two times of the radius, right? So two into twenty-one, which is forty-two centimeter. That is the answer for this question. Okay. The circumference. The fourth question is the circumference of a circular park is three hundred and fifty-two meter. Find the area of the park. So here it is given circumference. Circumference is nothing but the formula for the circumference is two pi r. Okay. So two pi r is equal to three fifty-two meter. Whereas Uh, two into twenty-two by seven into r is equal to three fifty-two. Our aim is to find out what is the value of r. So r is equals to. We will take the remaining values from this side to that side. That means these values I am going to take to that side. Okay. So r is equals to three fifty-two. Twenty-two by seven will come here. It will become as a reverse position. Seven by twenty-two. And these two also you can see it will come in down. Okay. So then you can cancel this. You can directly cancel with two with this. It is one seventy-six. And then twenty-two uh, will go in one seventy-six eight times. So eight into seven is fifty-six meter. Therefore, r is equal to fifty-six meter, which is the area of the park. Okay. Now, then after this, we have to find out uh, area of a park. That means we found out only the value of r. Okay. So we have to substitute in the place of r. Then you can find the area of the park. So pi r squared. Which is equal to twenty-two by seven into fifty-six into fifty-six, so that you will get the value as nine thousand eight hundred and fifty-six, which is the answer for this question. Remember that always, whenever we write the area, it has to come in the square. So it is, it should come like a meter square. It's clear, ma? It should come like meter square. So remember that. Don't forget it. Now the next question is the fifth question. So the fifth question. Let me read the question. In a grassland, a sheep is ten. Tethered by a rope of length four point nine meter, find the maximum area that the sheep can grass. So it is given in the picture also. A sheep has been um, tied up. Okay, so it can move only some distance. The question is to find the area the sheep can grass. So here R is given the radius. So it is in the form of a circle. The sheep is going to make a circle only because it is the radius is four point nine. So with the help of that, we are going to find out what is the area. So area is equals to pi r squared. Okay, 
So 22 by 7 into 4.9 into 4.9. When you cancel 7 is in 4.9, you'll get 0 0.7. Then you multiply the other values, you will get the answer to be 75.46 meters squared, which is the area of a sheep can grass. So the sheep can grass only the, this much area only, it can uh, roam from here to there. That's it, okay. Take down this in the class books. Thank you.